Soil is everything. The fact that I wake up every day to come and rebuild the soil, it fills my heart. For us, it's looking at long-term sustainability, thinking about the next seven generations. Our food and agriculture systems are vital for human survival, but we are facing unprecedented challenges that threaten our ability to feed a growing population. While our current agricultural practices spurred a production boom, they come at a cost. A third of our soils are degraded, making them less fertile, less biodiverse, and diminishing their capacity to support life. Climate change is exacerbating these challenges to production due to the increase in extreme weather events such as droughts, floods, and fires. We must adapt to a changing climate, building resilience and supporting farmer livelihoods while reducing the emissions generated by food production. Regenerative agriculture plays an important role. Regenerative agriculture is the continual improvement upon implementing the principles of soil health. Really it boils down to we need to care for our soils, not disturb the soil, and maintain living roots. There's been more cases of droughts, flash floods, um, the rain is more sporadic now. In order to match the food demand, we are practicing minimum tillage. We are mulching as much as we can. We are also planting densely and in diversity. In just 18 months, we've been able to achieve a soil that is crumbly, well aerated, very moist, with a lot of microbiology that is beneficial for our crops. We stand at a pivotal crossroads. Only a fraction of farms globally have embraced regenerative agriculture. To effectively combat climate change and preserve our ecosystems, regenerative practices must become the norm. The barriers to farmers adopting more regenerative ag systems always boils down to two major concerns. One is the logistic risk of change. How do I do it? That leads to risk number two, economic risk. Sometimes adding these practices can cost additional money, and farmers are already stretched thin. We can't risk economic loss in a pursuit of changing systems. To address this, we need unprecedented collaboration across the value chain and between the public and private sectors. To implement transformation at scale, we need innovative financing solutions to support farmers during the transitional period to regenerative agriculture. The connection between my farm and the end consumer is a long chain. We really have to have everybody aligned. Farmers around the world need support to transition to regenerative practices, and a collective effort is essential. That's why Nestle supports the launch of the COP28 Action Agenda on Regenerative Landscapes. This initiative aims to accelerate the move towards regenerative agriculture across production landscapes worldwide. At the Nature Conservancy, we advocate for regenerative food systems as a solution to reducing emissions, protecting biodiversity, and securing sustainable livelihoods. Unless we farm differently and change the way we eat, we cannot achieve the goals of the Paris Agreement. At uh, Danone, everything we do uh, depends on nature. We are convinced that not one player can do it alone. It requires impact and therefore it requires coalition. We wholeheartedly support the regenerative agriculture platform, bringing together all stakeholders, government, financial institutions, companies, NGOs, is the only way we can have impact at scale and an impact that is lasting. Regenerating, ni kama kutuza mchanga, mazingara, ata sisi wenyewe. Itatusaidia kwa vizazi vijavyo, vitakuta tumewatayarishia, kenya nzuri na enyafya.